Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's GTA 5 video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get a free sports car in Grand Theft Auto Online That's better than the one that you can actually pay for. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Tylarius Welcome to my channel in this video. We're gonna be talking about the free car that you can get Yo, what is popping YouTube? It's your boy AJ back at you again with another Grand Theft Auto 5 online video uh, today's video is going to be kind of an informational video, uh, kind of simple, but uh, it's going to be on how to get the Bentley for free. Not just the regular Bentley, but the armored Bentley, okay? It also has guns. Yo, what's going on? It's Nizion here, back with another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I can get a free Anus Paragon R in GTA 5 Online. Okay, so, great, cool. So, the only thing I need to do to be able to get an armored car is just complete the casino missions as a host that's pretty simple to do uh, right so how do I do that uh, oh yeah just gotta go buy a uh, penthouse in uh, from the website cool that's all I'm gonna do so um, hmm well that's not very fair yes that is right there is an free armored car that you can get in GTA online um, completely free don't have to pay for it whatsoever however you have got to complete the missions in the casino as the host to be able to unlock this free armored car however this does come with a catch the only way you can uh, run the missions as a host is to own a penthouse and the cheapest bog standard penthouse is 1.5 million dollars now that may seem oh yay great what I've got to do is buy that and I get a free car um, yeah the normal non armored is only nine hundred and five thousand dollars it's under a million yeah sure it's armored I guess that's cool you get guns on it uh, you don't get any missiles, it's only machine guns which can't lock on to anything. Uh, the armor can probably take one, maybe two hits um, by a rocket. And obviously, as we all know, the Oppressor Mark II has the most OP rockets in the game and can track a fly in a shitstorm. So. Yeah, the car and the armor is not going to be that great. You might as well not have it at all because it's probably completely worthless. And getting it for free, sale price is probably going to be about $5,000. Um, so even if you get it and sell it, fully upgrade it, you're probably only going to get about twenty grand from selling it. Um, whereas if you just buy the standard stock version... Um, it's nine hundred and five thousand. You'd probably get about five to six hundred thousand when you resell it. So yeah, you get a bit more, but it doesn't involve buying a penthouse and having to do missions. So yeah, any videos that you do see involving a free armored car, it's not free. I mean, okay, yes, the car itself is free, but to get the car, it is certainly not free. You have to buy a penthouse for $1.5 million at the cheapest, and then complete missions and then get it. So, yeah, and this car doesn't even, it doesn't even spawn in your garage. Once you finish all the missions, you have to go to the docks and then pick it up. So if you finish all the missions and... You go back into a lobby, once you finish them all, you drive to the docks. If someone's there, that car is going to spawn. And there's nothing there to stop them either taking it or destroying it. And if they destroy it or take it, that's it, it's gone. Now, I think there is an armoured version on the website, I'm not too sure. Uh, but if there isn't, then there is no way of being able to get this car back again. So you have to be very careful and if need be start the missions in a private lobby or an invite only so you then spawn back into an invite only. But let us talk about the 
Paragon are because I think Armoured and Stock they're both pretty much the same. Um, it's just you know Armoured is Armoured, but customization wise it's pretty good. You got quite a few there. You got some primary, secondary coloured versions and some carbon versions. Similar, same with the rear bumper. The only things with the rear bumper is primary, secondary, carbon, and stock. Spoilers, you've got quite a few liveries. There's a couple basic ones, some like pinstripe kind of things. There's some racing ones. Uh, bump the hoods. I like the hoods as well because you get some pretty good little combos of carbon and livery styles, along with obviously primary, secondary. The performance wise, now it's not the fastest car in the game, but um, if you're doing races excluding the Italia GTO and the Pariah, it would be a pretty good contender because the traction is actually not too bad. Um, it does have a little bit of slide, but nothing that you can't control. The, tail, the back end doesn't come out too much when you go around the corner, so it's quite easy to get back under control if you do start sliding. Uh, the acceleration is all right as well for a sports car. Um, it, I would say it's pretty, it's it's near enough up there. Um, obviously below the Italia GTO and Prior and all that lot, but minusing them from a race, it would be pretty good at doing what it does. Now this car has very, it has a lot of styles that you could do. You could do a carbon based one or you could do a full painted one so no carbon on it whatsoever. This is one of few cars that will kind of look pretty alright in any colour you put. I would say the best is silver but that it comes across with most cars if you put it in a silver it literally like fits in anywhere um, but I would say don't bother trying to get an armored one because there's not really any point because like I said it's not going to be able to withstand the missiles from any of the modern day weaponized vehicles being the oppressor mark 2 the oppressor mark 1 the deluxo scramjet anything that has explosive rounds it, it won't do anything it will be like you haven't even got armor on there and it's not even that it's not even really armored it's just got some like armor platings on the doors and that's it it's hardly armored like the karuma is now the karuma's got armor all over the thing this has just got some little armor plates on the doors but but yeah I'd say just a reminder then any of the new players mainly if you see a video about a free armored Paragon R do not believe it it is not completely free you have to spend 1.5 million dollars to get this car for free Whereas the standard one is only 905,000, which, to be honest, is better because it looks better with colours and liveries rather than having armour plating on the side and it being un, like just unsmooth and it just wouldn't look very nice. I'm sure there's some colour combinations that would look great on it. But I'm going to be sticking with my standard stock one because I don't need an armoured one. There's plenty of armoured vehicles that good that go good. So, yeah. I mean, you do what you want to do, but it's just letting you know. Paragon R, armoured for free. It's not for free. So, see if you did enjoy and do continue to enjoy, then do not forget to subscribe and notification bell to be notified in any videos or updates I unleash into the channel and I will see you all next time.